Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a granola bar recipe that our family loves and I hope you guys love it as well. And if you guys have been wondering why we have not been posting regularly, things have been super crazy around here. We have a wedding in the family so we've been getting ready for that but we will begin posting more regularly this month after the wedding. So the first thing that you're going to need to do for this granola bar recipe is measure out two and a half cups of oats, whatever kind you guys like to use and put them in this little baking sheet here. You're going to just want to toast them in the oven just to get them a little bit toasted. The recipe didn't call for it, but I also added some nuts. You can use whatever nuts your family likes, but I used walnuts and pecans. So you are just going to bake those in the oven at 350 for 5 minutes. The next thing that I did here was just get a saucepan to make the filling that's going to go in this and just kind of bind all of the oats and the nuts together. So in your saucepan you're just going to want to heat your quarter cup of butter over medium heat and then add a third a cup of honey. And while I was in the middle of this, my oats finished baking in the oven, so I just pulled those out really quick. Next you're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, I didn't measure it here because I never measured the vanilla, but it was a half a teaspoon that the recipe called for, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Next you're just going to want to stir that up, a whisk really works best, but I was using a spoon here. So while all of that is heating in your saucepan, you're going to want to take the oats that you toasted in the oven and pour them into a medium sized bowl. And my sauce was done, so I'm pouring that into the bowl right on top of the oats and the nuts. And then you just want to stir those together until very thoroughly mixed. your mixture is mixed together, you're just going to want to pour all of that out into your baking dish. I think that I was using a 9x9 here, but if you want them to be a little bit less thick, you can use a bigger sized pan. and then I just pressed it down with my hand to get it nice and stuck together. Now 
Now you're going to want to place this in the fridge just until it hardens. Or if you would like to put chocolate chips on top, go ahead and put those on before you put them in the fridge. I added chocolate chips to half of them and left the other half plain. And once they are all nice and firmed up in the fridge, you can pull them out and cut them. I just pulled mine out and placed them on a plate before placing them back in the fridge just to get a little bit cooler. And that is it. Your granola bars are done. You'll want to keep them in the fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to our channel. There will definitely be more videos in the future that you guys do not want to miss. So hit that red subscribe button down below. All right, guys, be thankful and rejoice in the Lord. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.